about my own film with, uh, I mean, so many accomplished people today. Thank you so much. Chairman Nascom and MD Tech Mahindra, CB Gurnani Ji, Mr. Jeff Wayne, Honorable Consulate General Angeri, Mr. Norbert Rive Berry, Vice uh, Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology, Chiranjit Diveji Ji, Mr. Rupan Singh, Secretary to uh, Managing Director GIL, Dr. J.M. Vyas, Director General, Gujarat Forensic Science University, Sri Rakesh Kaur, partner PWC, NASCOM Executive Council members, invited guests, my fellow industry members. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. Uh, I extend a very, hard, a very hearty and warm welcome to, to this award ceremony to all of you. In particular, I would like to greet the awardees and the finalists, including their family, because uh, this is the night for you. Uh, we have gone through uh, the sub hills of all the awardees, the finalists, the kind of hard work that has been put in in bringing the products to market. It was uh, amazing to see the kind of work uh, Gujarat IT industry is doing. And I'm sure uh, this work is certainly going to put us uh, in the global map in the next few years to come in. This evening, uh, uh, is specifically to celebrate what our industry members have been uh, uh, doing for all these years. While everybody has been saying, you know, Gujarat is a SME market, uh, not many big companies, uh, uh, we come in from Gujarat. But I believe, I mean, we are in a very, very different uh, time zone right now from the technology standpoint. This is the time for SMEs, next decade is SMEs. And I think Gujarat is rightly positioned to take on that as an opportunity, uh, if I would may say. Uh, we've seen a, a tremendous change in the way the businesses are being conducted today, specifically in IT uh, sector. Uh, we've seen Paytms uh, uh, and so on and so forth becoming billion dollar, multi-billion dollar enterprises in a matter of five years. And I believe with the Gujarati DNA, DNA that we have, we are poised to be the next billionaires in the ICT industry of this nation. GESA Awards specifically uh, looks at how do we promote excellence, uh, how do we promote uh, originality of uh, 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 you know, ideas. Uh, I have had uh, privilege to work with some of the uh, cutting edge technologies uh, recently uh, in our state. To mention few, I may not be able to take the name, uh, but I could see a company which is developing uh, uh, you know, fighter plane landing system in Ahmedabad. Now that's unheard of. I mean, did we ever knew Ahmedabad has a capability, the IT industry in Ahmedabad has capability to develop a landing system of a fighter plane? Not at all, I mean, we have arrived. I think that's, that's what I would like to say. Our young guys have arrived. We've seen technologies which are, I mean, a company is launching smart watch probably next month or so, beating technical specifications of Apple and Samsung, unheard of. I am sure, I mean, put your hand together for all these young gentlemen who are putting their heart and soul in bringing the right kind of technologies, letting Gujarat be known globally for, I mean, we, we conquer businesses. So I think that's what we are going to do in the next phase of startups in, in this uh, new era of doing ICT business. Turning to finalists, uh, I think, you know, I had word with my uh, jury members. They had hard time actually putting together who's going to be the winner. Uh, we had record breaking 200 plus entries this time, never happened before. And it was not about 200, it was about the, I mean, it was difficult to, uh, to really say who is the winner. So jury members uh, down the line are going to talk about how difficult it was for them to actually choose a winner. But what was great to see that there are phenomenal products that were demonstrated. There was so much of heart and soul put in presentations. We had a very different kind of evaluation process this time. Uh, we had PwC onboarded. Thanks to PwC for uh, amazing job done on uh, you know uh, getting us the right kind of finalists in place. Uh, and we had member engagement. So we had 
almost uh, uh, you know parallel weightage given by uh, the jury and the members to decide who is going to be the winner. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the best winners in place today. Another uh, important thing that would, I, would, I would like to talk today, we have our secretary DST uh, here, Sarinji Devedi sir. I had opportunity to speak with him in the last few days when we were traveling uh, on West Coast delegation. Uh, I could see first time the seriousness with which we are moving forward to bring technology ecosystem to work finally. We're talking about great impetus being given to ICT startups, cross cutting edge technology is being promoted, creating right kind of ecosystem to ensure that the ideas are taken to market, not only taken to market, they are actually flourishing. Uh, government is putting every step forward to, to really ensure that we are building the right kind of ecosystem in this state. Now, most of the time we would always say, you know, government has to bring right kind of initiatives and only then the uh, industries will grow. I, I think and I've changed my mind. Uh, I used to think like that. After I spoke with Sir for a very long time while we were on the trip, I believe it is a symbiotic relationship which private industries have to bring together with government initiatives, only then we will be successful. It's a two-way street. And I think, you know, I would request all of my uh, friends in industry to let's work very closely with government, work with a very honest initiative that this is our time, this is where we are going to bring the next global ICT hub for the world. Uh, This time, uh, we, we included a couple of new, uh, uh, you know, award categories. One is ICT startup. Uh, I'm sure our jury members will uh, further dwell upon how difficult it was for them to really look at who is going to be the winner. But uh, it was it was really good to see that so many credible startups have uh, uh, applied. I'm sure there would have been a lot of more startups which would have applied, but because uh, a lot of them would be under NDA. Uh, a lot of them would be under uh, non-compete agreements and so on and so forth, but I'm sure next time it's going to be a much longer list. But what was very important to see is that uh, uh, these startups are across the spectrum. They're not just about IT. They're actually applying IT to make our lives smarter, our days smarter, our applications smarter. And we had startups in social, we had startups in technology, we had startups in fintech, we had startups in IoT, and I, I mean, that what, what, what that really means is IT is finally being applied by young men and women to solve our day-to-day -day problems, and that's happening in Gujarat. Uh, I would really want you to put hands together for these startups because that's what the least we can give it to them to start with. Uh, before we uh, commence the award ceremony, we are uh, pleased to announce uh, that GESA is going to launch its new website, new identity today. Uh, it's very important when we have changing times, we need to change ourselves. In, in, in line with that, we're changing our identity. Uh, you've seen the logo. It's a young, vibrant logo. We're growing grow hair, I mean gray hair, sorry for that. And we need black hair to take on from here. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the evening.